this video I thought I would share with you what a full day of eating looks like for me when I'm on lower calories. So at the moment I am in a fat loss phase over the course of the week. I'm eating in a calorie deficit but I do have three high days throughout the week to help with my energy and my training and then four lower days. So my lower days are set to 1700 calories and so I thought I would share with you how I kind of deal with hunger and make the foods that I want to eat still fit into that smaller calorie budget. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodi and I help you change your beliefs so you can change your body, your health and your life. This video, we are doing a full day of eating on 1700 calories. This is quite low for me. I shared a full day of eating previously that was on 2600 calories. That was when I was having a diet break and that's kind of the volume of food that I'm used to eating. 1700 is pretty low. Now it is about 11 in the morning. I have not had any food yet today. And this is the strategy I like to use to help me stick to my calories when I don't have as many available. Some would call it intermittent fasting, but I don't call it that. I just literally try and push my first meal back as late as possible in the morning because I enjoy eating bigger meals at night time. I want to leave as many calories as possible for later in the day when I'm kind of getting a bit more restless and tired and just want to relax and actually enjoy my food. In the morning, I don't really care about eating. I usually have a lot of work to do or I want to go for a walk or whatever. And so I'm not focused on food. I don't really care about missing out on eating. There's no point for me wasting calories in the morning when I don't care about eating then. And I prefer to focus on my work. Like I find not eating helps me focus better as well. So it works for me. Now, I'm not strict with the time that I start eating. If I feel like around 10.30, I want to start eating, I'll eat then. If I feel like it's 11.30, like today, I've just had a lot of work to do in the morning. So I've just kept going and stayed focused on that. And now I'm like, okay, I need a break. I'm going to start eating. And also because I want to fit my workout in today as well. And I want to make sure I have some food before that and it digests and stuff before I train. So it's all a matter of doing what works for you. But I do find for me that kind of not eating in the morning helps me allocate my calories nicely and feel satisfied overall. And most importantly, helps me stick to my calories when they are lower. In terms of hunger, I'm actually feeling okay at the moment. I think because I've been so focused on work, I've also had black coffee, I've had sparkling water, and that really helps me as well to mitigate some of that hunger. Some days, if I am feeling really, really hungry in the morning, and the black coffee and the sparkling water doesn't help as well, then I kind of just don't give myself an option. I kind of just push through and I'm fine. Now, I'm definitely not promoting skipping meals if you have any kind of disordered eating patterns. I have had an eating disorder in the past and it literally doesn't affect me. I don't get um, triggered by skipping meals. It doesn't make me go backwards or feel any kind of way. It's just I'm focused on work. I don't really care about eating now, I'm gonna eat later. But if you're not there yet, then I recommend getting some professional help before you watch videos like this or before you even consider dieting or any of that. Something else I wanna point out as well, a lot of you probably don't know this, there's nothing wrong with being hungry. Being hungry is actually good for you. It's not going to hurt you at all. Going without food for a decent amount of time helps your digestive system kind of clean itself out and repair itself. If you don't believe me, then look up migratory motor complex and do some of your own research around that. In terms of my workout and fitting that in after my first meal today, I don't mind training fasted. If I had time this morning, I would have gone and got my workout done and then had my first meal as my post-workout meal but it just didn't work out for me this morning. So I'm eating now and then I'll go get my training done later. If you feel fine training fasted, there's nothing wrong with that as long as you get a meal in afterwards. So I'm about to go eat my first meal now. It is literally the same thing I have every single day pretty much for meal one. I love it. It works for me. It makes me feel good. And yeah, the only time I don't have it is if I go away, which is actually quite frequently, but I wasn't going to pretend I have something else just for the sake of filming a more entertaining YouTube video because you have already seen this meal in my other full day of eating. All right, so that is meal one. Same thing as always, 
oats cooked in water and then I let them cool down um, just so everything else doesn't go clumpy and runny and not nice to it. And then vanilla protein powder on top. Usually I change the protein powder flavor every so often. And that's what makes it kind of more interesting for me. Uh, and then Greek yogurt, no fat, and cinnamon. I just mix all that together and it comes out really nice. All right, so we just got back from the gym. It was deadlift day. I got another PB, so I'm super happy. Seems like every time I do my full day of eatings on here, I get a PB in my deadlifts. The last PB was 100 kilograms for two. Today I got 102.5 kilograms for one. So that's 226 pounds, I think. Super, super happy with that. Deadlifts are my favorite, so I always want to do well in them. But you have to understand I've had bad workouts in between this. So if you watch the two full day of eatings where I got my PBs next to each other, it looks like I'm just getting stronger and I always have good workouts and get PBs. That's not the case. I had a good workout that other full day of eating. I had a good workout today, but in between I've had some really, really bad workouts and I have not been getting PBs. Like last week I did deadlifts, I couldn't even get 100 off the ground. Today it came up easy. That's just how this works. Today has been super, super busy and I wanted to just show you naturally what I would eat on a day like this rather than try and make special meals that are all pretty for the purposes of this YouTube video. Like, that's not me. That's not how I eat. This is how I eat generally, regardless of whether YouTube is happening or not. So I just wanted to be as authentic as possible in this video. So with that being said, my next meal, my post-workout is going to be a Quest birthday cake bar and an apple. I always like to get a decent serve of protein in, like around 20 to 30 grams after my workouts. And I also like to get some carbs in. This isn't a lot, but it's gonna do for now because it's like three o'clock already and I still have to walk the dog and get steps in. Well, that's the same thing really. Um, and do some more work and then it'll be dinner time already anyway. Okay, so we are back in the kitchen. It is dinner time. It is about 7 p.m. I'm actually running late. I prefer to eat slightly earlier around 6 30 but it has been so hectic today. I haven't really, like really even had a chance to think about food or think about being hungry which is actually very helpful when you're in a calorie deficit. So after my protein bar and my apple I went for a massive walk. Took about an hour I find walking and moving if I am hungry helps distract me as well. Then I came back and did about an hour's worth of work, which also helps distract me. Our dinner tonight is really going to be just a put together kind of meal because I honestly haven't even had time to think about it. I did know in my head what protein I was gonna have for dinner ahead of time. And then everything else is basically just what fits into the macros I have left. So I've logged all the food I've already had today and I've logged my dessert and like pre-bed meal that I love to have every day. I've logged that already. So now dinner is really just whatever is left. I've logged the protein component. So I'm having tuna tonight. I've logged that in there to make sure I hit my protein target because that is especially important if you are eating in a calorie deficit. And then everything else is just like stuff added in to hit my macros. And you'll see in a minute because I've got like cheese added in. I've cooked my, I'm having potatoes as my carb source. I've cooked them in butter because I had extra calories and extra fats available to do so. This is my protein tonight. It is a tuna steak. It's like sashimi quality tuna and I love it. I would eat it raw, except I don't actually feel like it. It's kind of cold here and says the girl in a t-shirt, but I'm always wearing t-shirt and shorts even in winter. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna cook it up in some salt and pepper and like a little bit of butter. And then I'm having some potato, some pumpkin, and just some whole foods. Like when I'm on low calories, I prefer to have my meals as simply as possible and as volume dense as possible. So the more whole foods you can kind of eat, the more food you're actually gonna be able to eat. Now, I think one of the most important things when it comes to sticking to low calories is to make sure you don't feel deprived. So choose one meal or even two meals of the day that you must eat, that you really want to eat. For me, that is my dessert and my pre-bed meal. Like I love to end the day on those. It's going to be the same as what you would have seen in my other full day of eating. I'll show you after dinner. 
but that is what I really want to eat. And if I don't get to eat that, I feel deprived and it makes sticking to those lower calories harder. So choose one meal that you really want to have every single day, put that in your food diary and then build everything else around that meal. That way you're going to feel kind of happy. You have something to look forward to every day. It's just going to make the dieting process a lot easier. Shima is cooking and looking good. That is about how I like it. All right, so that is dinner. Super easy and simple, but nutritious. And it's going to fill me up as well. So we've got the tuna steak, which was cooked in butter with salt and pepper. Then I have some roasted potato and pumpkin. The potatoes I actually cook in the oven just in their skin. And then I pull them out, peel the skin off, and I cook them in a pan with some butter because I had the macros available. Put some herbs in there and some salt to give some flavor. And then we've got shredded red cabbage and green beans just to add some more vol volume and vegetables because I haven't really had enough vegetables today. We've also got some cheese here that I'm going to put on top of the potatoes just because I had macros available and I need to add some fats like that's why I've added the cheese really because I haven't had a lot of fat today and it is important to get fat in your diet and now we are up to my non-negotiable meal of the day I pretty much have to have this in order to be happy before I go to bed so I have some kind of chocolate or ice cream and today we have got M&Ms and then I have Exo Crunch and some milk and protein powder. And that is me done for today. That is all for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. If you liked it, please like it. If you'd like to subscribe to see more, please do so. And if that's the case, I will see you in the next video.